Hey everybody, it's me, Flaming Kong, and welcome to what I believe is episode number 50, the big 50. Not many of my Let's Plays have exceeded this length. In fact, I don't think really, uh, other than Thousand Year Door, I don't think any of them have. Anyways. We're during the final battle again, I think. Oh. I really peaked my mic. Oh, that's Sentinel. That's gotta be Iori. Iori. Iori Fiyasaka. Let's go, Iori. Iori, what's going on? Iori turn? They all appeared on this side out of nowhere. Just keep running. That's easy to say. But where are we even supposed to run? You gotta get in battle, Tony. I'm sorry I couldn't get you somewhere safer. But I'll handle this. Usami chan? Boom. And yeah, this we haven't gone to see Usami or Tommy summon her sentinel. We get to see them all summon their sentinels. Yay! What a big word for such a little girl, so you know, says Miwago. Uh, you, you know, the I came out of thin air. Chihiro san, why did you call for me? My senior ID can get me access to the higher level commands, but I still need the biometric authentication to get it started. So I'll need your help. Though, it's not a favor for me. I'm the one who's going to be helping all of you in the end. Yeah, right. Don't move. Are you trying to shift from here? I need you to step away. <laughs> Slides backwards. <sighs> so, you may have recalled during the final battle, Chihiro had... They had mentioned Chihiro shifting 1.2 million people. Well, I, th I think this is probably showing off what happened during that. I want to I want to stress that I haven't actually played this portion of the game. Cuz I never had before finished area 5 of area the third area. So, are at this point we are in fact Once I'm done here, your fight might get just a little easier. Maximum hypocrisy. <laughs> Get on the shifter already. Okay. See ya. I've established a connection to the system. My senior credentials should take care of the rest. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come back for me. I'm shifting you back. Can you hear me? Who's that? How'd you get on this channel? Huh? <laughs> Wait, you're the girl Miwako was helping. Chihiro? Is that you, Chihiro? I'm Chihiro Morimura. What? That's our teacher's name. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Readouts say 
Yeah, this is the same scene. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025, as in Sector 3. Right. You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. But wait a minute, Chihiro! Initializing shift. Yeah, so I was right. This is the shift. Okay. It's shifting everybody. Let's go. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. So they actually do show that. That's cool. They really do end up explaining everything. Like, even every little detail. Unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I doing this? Oh, I went through. What's the meaning of this? How did you gain access? Explain yourself. I'm Hijama. I'm super cool. To be continued. Oh. Do I do this right now? Um. We'll save that. We'll continue with Rain and Goto for now. Rain and Goto log 2188. Is this Ogata's father? I think so. What? Professor Morimura was only following my orders. So all of this was by design. Your design. Leaking the prototype wow. the machine rates of the black market. The catastrophic consequences. You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. What? Dude, humanity is freaking bricked. You were planning on downloading yourself into a clone. No, you're not. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Survivors left now. I give them three days at most. My hey, who is still alive? For your imminent death. Shut up, construct. Your project is over. Huh. Unfortunately for you, the arc is already set off. It's still within cause for Is Renya go to the last survivor of humanity? That'd be interesting. I agree with that, honestly. You know, Renny Goto, play through your story has actually made you kind of more likable, to be honest. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? 
At least this specific Renya Goto seems to be kind of like just trying to help and figure things out. Can't really fault him for that. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. Wow. The very beginning. You never intended for this world to survive. Wow. How dare you? All right, let's look if at this. Operation Aegis succeeds. A world reset will no longer be possible. Right. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to okay. prevent it. So Professor Morimura wanted to do. No, Professor Morimura wants to stop Operation Aegis. But Miss Morimura, the nurse Morimura, who's from one of the loops, um, presumably the same loop as 46 because she was in love with him. That's the Morimura that wants wanted to do Proversion Aegis, and that's why Professor Morimura killed Miss Morimura. Is that confusing? Sure. Alright. To destroy the world? I the world's already destroyed. So you think I'm enabling the kaiju now? Even though mm. I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? I'm kind of curious how Natsuno Minami being the key shows up. Because I feel like that has to show up somewhere. Maybe not in the story portion. Because I'm assuming after, like, during the final battle... I'm assuming there's going to be a story section after that. The situation has deviated too drastically. Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. Uh-huh. Recall. I am... Curious about what that means. Or there now. The UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okinokun, you can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most uh -huh. likely. Shikishima android. Probably left here by Ida-san. Ida-san? Wait, why Ida? Ida? damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. I'm not sure what time period these flashbacks are taking part in. That's... We know it is at least after Miura's story. When Shahira's taken away. Obviously. I don't think it's too important, though. Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. Uh huh. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. Wow. I have my ways. She's like literally the person running all this. This is no good. Well, technically, so I thought Kamal Karabe was actually the one. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The command ship. The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it an arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? 
Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. Hmm. The comms channel for the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. I'm really curious what happens once they win the battle. Because clearly they're gonna win, right? Because I only know what happens after that. That's the thing, it's like I don't know how this story will conclude. Which is kind of why I'm I'm looking forward to it. Which means so I really don't know what could happen. Alright. Probably a lot. I will say, I I don't know, like, the rest of the story, and I don't know, like, the final story, but I do know that the fourth area is the final, like, area, and it's, like, kind of like a never-ending, like, thing, in a way, where you just have to basically survive. That is something that I do know, just from people talking about 13 Sentinels. I'll, I'll talk more about it when we get there. In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world yeah. destroyed so the timeline can be reset. Yeah. But you have one major obstacle. And that's Operation Aegis. Aegis. Yeah. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense. So why do you want to reset is the question. From using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed also, I thought we already discussed that that's not possible for a reset. Didn't someone say that? Or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. What is your goal? That's what I'm really not conf Let's I'm confused. Bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. And you asked me who I think did it. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I? Yo. She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. No, it is correct. I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf. Wow. A buyer, simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight. Wow. Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father. Right. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. Wow. Construct. Kengo Ogata. Is this our true villain? Dug that out of a log too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Wow. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. It's clear what? this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura Why? takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, right. Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. What? No. That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. No, not Ogata. Are you kidding me? He's our badass. She had to die. Her 
very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. Uh oh. Well, uh, that's not good. Oh no. Unlock condition, protagonist with story progress. Alright, so we have to do this. What's our time looking at? Oh. Well, I guess we're doing it. Okay. No more secrets. Mm -hmm. Three hundred meters underground. Where do I begin? Well, what? I think I finally found what we needed. The answer to our problem. What is it? I'd prefer to handle the introductions first, but what? Well, I guess we're a bit early. The command ship's still behind the horizon. That means still about half an hour until they're in comms range. Now it's a waiting game. Okay. What can I do right now? I have to save everyone. And that means I need to stay at Okino's side. Let's go. Go ahead and explain. Guess I owe you that much. You remember our talk about the decode? Sure. Inside that inner velocitor. I don't really remember that to be honest. Right? Okay, sure. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. Right. We know about that. That's where they are in 2188. I think. That data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Okay, then the right. Three fresh Dimos are deployed to attack universal control. And that's how the decode works. Okay. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. What? Over here? Huh? Hey, the stall is moving. What's up? Stop. Whoops. Well, that didn't work. Uh. All right, let's not do that again. Hey. Stop. It stopped. What? Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but What? Looks like my operation authority has been revoked. How does that work? I don't I don't know what's going on anymore. Aren't enough to shut them down. They'll be back in action soon. Okay. Uh let's leave. I don't know. Hey, go over here too. Uh oh. Stop. This doesn't look good. You're telling me. Let's get out of here. Go. Something's off. Okay. Let's go. La, la, la. What's wrong? That console. Looks like I can only use the controls from there. You no. Not this again. Hey. No. It's happened before. Stop. No. No. Not Okino. You know. Wait, what? Oh. Damn it. Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Someone, 
Anyone? I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. Okay. I know what I saw. Just as I was shifting, I saw Okino. And the androids were after him. I need to get back and rescue him. Yeah. Let's go. Anyone here? There's gotta be at least like ten different people. Oh yeah, Sigihara. Let's go to Sin. Alright, Kitaro, sure, let's go to Kitaro. That nurse would know as well. No, the nurse is pointless. She's terrible. La la la. Uh Kino was looking into that teacher. Maybe she knows something about time travel. Uh the Kitaro said is true. The sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take right. back from the government, it's not actually time travel, sure. but sure. Maybe I can use it to save Okino. Crawling to him for help leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but <laughs> desperate times call for death. What? What's that? What's happening? To find that teacher. Okay. Where am I supposed to be going? This is hardly the time for a snack. Oops. Sorry. Hey you. Excuse me, miss. There's something I need to ask you. Uh sure. What's up? Uh do you know uh where she is? I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh, you need to find Miss Morimura? I think she already went home for the day. Really? No. Of all time, she had okay, so this is before Morimura is dead then. I'll have to look somewhere else. I guess that makes sense. Uh, about yeah, she probably doesn't even know who this is. Area for a while, right? Seen any suspicious characters? Sharp eyes, acting fishy. Yeah. Right in front of... Uh... Uh... <laughs> never mind. Hmm? Right in front of you. I'm looking for a boy named Miura. He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? A school hat? Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? You've seen him? Uh, sorry. I... But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Where would I find them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. Understood. Rest area. Thank you. Rest area, like this way. Uh, break area. Hey, what's up? Do you have a moment? Uh, for what? Do you know? Kitara Miura. A boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage looking school hat. That's him. Do you know where he is? Hmm. He wasn't near the athletics building. I do remember something. Yeah. I've seen him around the old school building. Oh, let's go. So the wooden schoolhouse. Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh yeah. Bye. I don't need to know about Sugigahara. Oh, go to the walkway. Run. What? Reminisce. What is this? Oh, What's this. Uh, um, this is for you. What's this? I really like you. This isn't real. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. I, I... <laughs> gotcha. Deja vu, what? huh? Isn't this where I confess to Ninji Ogata, too? <laughs> that seemed like it really got to you. I thought you might be feeling left out, so... 
You idiot. You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me? Guess not, huh? Aww. So it was real. I'm just imagining it. Who cares if he's a man? Run! Run! Nobody here. Keep going. Or not. Run this way now. Huh? You? Let's go. Wait. Maybe. This was the correct area to search. It is him. What? Wait, that's. It's Mira. You're the scout unit that was with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? Hakatoshi-san. Let me take you. Take me where? Let me take you to Okino's location. Yo? Let's go. Oh no. We need to go. Exactly are you? I'm Ira. How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. The Yuki Inaba used them to inform me. Right. Because this is the mirror from 2188. Oh, sure. Here. Gives me gun. What is this? Some kind of future gun? Let's go. Nice. Okay. See you later, not to know. Then let's move. Let's move, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're here. Oh shoot. Three. Shoot. Shoot him. Boom. You're dead. You're dead meat. Shoot him. Boom. Where's the other one? Shoot, 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 shoot. Nice. Kidding me? She's gone. Universal control has isolated him. No. What? Wait, what? I'm confused. I don't get it. So they finally made it here. Okay, no. You don't have much of a knack for love letters. What? Read it. Read it. Invasion force is approaching Sector Four, so I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. Oh. I hid it in the ocean in Sector Five. It's the one I piloted, Sentinel Number Twelve. If anything happens to me, you'll need access to it. Oh. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. Alright. Let's go. That scout unit said you were isolated. If you really are alive, if you're out there somewhere, then you 
you're going to need a home to return to. It'd be a shame if it was gone. Hell yeah. So, Let's do this, Hijiyama. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Hijiyama, badass. Well, we know Okino is with him in the Sentinel. So... Finally. I was wondering how he'd show up. <gasps> Yay! What was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Okino! You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. Let's go! Yay! Shared the Sentinel. You're the only one who I can communicate with. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it to keep me alive. What? This was the answer, Ijiyama kun Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Right. Well, that I knew. They were created by universal control. Right. That world is a simulation. But you're a real human being, and so is Hijama, so let's get busy. None of it was real. These cockpits we're in right now, that is reality. My oh. designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. What kind of oh. suicidal moron would get in a 35 meter weaponized metal suit? A single punch's recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. But okay. then the finished sentinels had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. But it wasn't even a cockpit at all. Their growth pods what? meant to keep our bodies healthy. Oh. We were born inside these pods. What? What? So it's all been in our head? Oh, that's true. What? How do we get out? I don't know if we can get out. But at least one thing's clear. If the Dimos invasion destroys the world we knew, so then we will all die inside these pods. <laughs> so our entire world is basically fake and we've been inside pods this entire time is what I'm being told, I think. But we can control the sentinels from these pods. And the people I love. Hijiyama-kun. I will not let you die. Hijiyama-kun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Let's go. Aww. Let's go. Hell yeah, let's go. We are ready. This is all the motivation I needed to the final battle. Hell yes. And I got a new, uh, achievement. That's cool. Oh. Well, next time, we are going to be doing the final scene of Remembrance. Wow. Let's check our, uh, thing real quick here. Right, okay. Artificial satellite in orbit. Okay. Key. Why is that 
Something we just got. Ah. Takatoshi Yama. Let's go. Yeah, and like, yeah. Okino then reveals to Hijama that the world they are in is a simulated space and the cockpit is actually the real world. It's all a simulation and we've been living inside of cockpits. Let's go. I don't even know what the hell this means anymore. Who cares? Anyway. Yay! Miyoko save! This guy. Alright, let's go. 98% complete. We're almost there. <laughs>